Hey there, it is Matt from 1000X Leads and this video is going to be going over the ad testing framework that I always use for things like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads to basically make sure that my ads are getting better and better over time. So I break it down into three main parts here, the ad hooks, the ad bodies, and then the campaign structure. And I break it down this way because it's the only way that I've ever found to consistently make sure that my ads are improving in a way that's also time efficient and just very nice to do it this way, in my opinion. So this is not going to be like your winning campaign. If you have ads that are basically winning, you just don't touch that campaign. We don't need to make that better or do anything to it. We just let it run. This is for testing new ads and trying to get better over time. So the first thing that I do is I have two different things. I aim to make two versions of the ad. And in, one, in this case, your, one of these versions could be like your best performing ad so far, if you'd like. And then I make 10 different hooks. And what I want to do is I want to have one campaign and then one ad set per body. So that means I would have a big campaign and then two ad sets. What I do here is I make 10 different versions of the hook because you never know what people are going to respond to the most. And the hook is arguably the most important part. If you can really nail the first one to five seconds, you can get so many more people to watch your ads and all things being equal, the more time people watch your ads, the better they're going to perform. So the first thing I do is have 10 different versions of the hook. And what I try to do in, these, in this first, let's call it three seconds, is I want to call out the target audience. I want to have a visual hook, not just a verbal one. I want to show my face and I want to convey that the result that they're going to get. So this is obviously a lot to do within the first three to maybe five seconds, but you can do it. And starting with these four things in mind really makes it a lot easier to get it done. When I have my two versions of the ad, I always stick to, in general, the what, why, how, proof. Call it a formula. Call it a list. Call it whatever. But the thing I do with my two versions usually is I test one version with what, why, how, with proof at the end, and then the second version with proof at the very beginning, then what, why, how. You know, who, what, when, where, why, how is just such an important, you know, framework. You learn it in the first grade and you learn it in the first grade for a reason. But in this case, where, when, and who are kind of implied. So we don't need to have that there. And then what I want to do is I want to have 10 hooks and I want to edit them onto each body so I get 20 ads total. Here are some example hooks that I really like. So something like want to double your desired outcome on platform or business. This is how you do it. Want to get twice as many clients for your agency. This is how you do it. This is why your product or problem isn't working. So, you know, this is why your cold emails aren't working. Agency owners, you won't believe this. How I grew my agency to 900K per month within 12 months. If you are an agency owner, listen up. This is the number one thing I tell every agency owner, or the number one thing I tell every agency owner is this. If you want to work with e-commerce brands, you need to hear this. When it comes to growing your agency, I only trust one single hack. Let me show you. If you run an agency, you're going to enjoy this video and you will not see it coming. Here's how you can grow or get more clients every single time or something like that. So these are 10 hooks that I really like, and I usually start with these hooks, to be honest, no matter what the type of ads are. And then when, it, when you get down to the end of it, you basically have 10 ads in ad set one and 10 ads in ad set two, and then you have that just like that. So these would be the what, why, how, and then proof ads. You edit the hook onto the front, and I kind of visualized it with the sticky notes here for 10 total ads. And then I also basically did the same thing here, but switched it with proof, what, why, and how. And they, these would be, you know, signifying of your two different ad sets with the 10 ads in each. And this is very good because let's say the body is two, three minutes. You can film that with a teleprompter like I'm talking right now. I don't have a teleprompter, but you could just film it like that. And then you could just go, you can film the ads or the hooks separately. This is why your cold email is not working. That was three, four seconds. Agency owners, you won't believe this. And then you can just edit it on. And you can really put a lot of emphasis into the hook that way. So when we're talking about comparing and measuring here, 
like a few different things can happen. We can compare the bodies basically by comparing the results of the ad sets, right? We just have the full ad set. If one is getting, you know, $100 per call, one is getting $500 per call because they all have the same um, hooks over a large enough sample size, we can kind of infer that, you know, okay, these all have the same hooks, so it must be the body that is better. And we can kind of make a very educated guess or decision that way. And then we could also compare the ads, which would, you know, be the hooks. Because let's say we're in here, because all of the bodies are the same inside this actual ad set of the 10 different ads, if there is a wild difference between, you know, this ad here and this ad here, we can kind of infer that this ad is going to be better because of the hook. So we can, with this basically structure, we're testing two different bodies at the same time, always making sure we're improving. And we're also testing a bunch of different hooks because we never really know what hook is going to be the best. So that's why we want to do it like that. So we can compare the ad set, we can compare the ads, and we'll ensure that we're continuously improving over time. So this is by far, in my view, the best ad testing framework that works for every business. I'm sure there's different ad frameworks that will work for something very specific. But for every business and to such where you can just watch a video and go for it right now, this is what you want to do. And I hope you enjoyed that.